What is up everyone? Today is the day a lot of us have been waiting for. UPS has finally delivered my dongles, which means we can connect the Knuckles controllers to our Oculus Quests and Oculus Quest 2s. Yes, this will actually work on both. Now, before we begin today's video, there are a few things you need to know. First of all, you will need a VR-ready PC for this. This is not standalone. These things are going to connect to Steam VR. You will also require base stations. Now, this might come as a disappointment to many of you, and you may begin asking yourself, what is the point of this? I bought a cheap headset. Why would I buy controllers that cost twice the price of the headset? Well, most of the headsets being currently used with Steam VR are Oculus Quest 2s, meaning that quite a few people are not buying the headset because they don't want to do PC VR and they just want to play standalone on a cheap headset, but because it's wireless, and that prospect of the headset being wireless is quite important to quite a few people, including myself. So playing on the Knuckles controllers on a wireless HMD, here we go. So now that we've got the requirements out of the way, let me take you through what else you will need. Our beloved Watchman dongles. Now these things, if you've ever looked for them, throughout the past few months, you would know are pretty much impossible to find, which is why these are not the official Steam VR dongles. These are, as a matter of fact, dongles from VR dongles. Yeah, that's a website. And dongles will be said a lot during this video. These cost 15 euro, very good price. Now, I also had to pay customs tax of about 30 euro, so take that as you will. But in case you want to order these in the EU, you can. I'm in Ireland and I have them right here. Just be aware that you will have to pay customs tax. Plugging these into a USB 2.0 port, we can see that they do, as a matter of fact, show up as a Watchman dongle on our Windows PCs, which is exactly what we need. Now, you can use the Oculus Link for this. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using Virtual Desktop and its brand new 120 Hertz mode. Let's go. So, you will require two of these dongles, one per controller. And what you want to do then is you want to take them and plug them into their own USB 2.0 ports. USB 3.0 can cause issues. Now, before we begin pairing anything to our computer, you will need to download and install OpenVR Space Calibrator. A link for this GitHub page will be down in the description below. All you do is you download it, run it, install it, and click I agree. And if okay. Now, let's power on our Quest and connect it to Steam VR. Okay. Now, connecting our Quest to Virtual Desktop and making it launch Steam VR because we will need Steam VR on for this. Now we can take the Quest off. Switching back over to our PC and looking at the Steam VR window here, you can see I don't have controllers connected. What you want to do is you want to click in the top left here, click Devices, and click Pair Controller. Now, when you click Pair Controller, you're going to get this. Here, you obviously select Index Controller and now we're gonna try pair them. So I'm gonna do my right controller first, doing exactly what the instruction is telling me, holding this button and then B. The light will begin blinking. Perfect, our controller is now connected. So I'm gonna click pair another controller and now we're gonna to attempt to pair left one. There we go. Now clicking on done, both of these controllers should be paired except the base stations aren't showing up and neither are the controllers. If you're having this issue, I found a very simple fix for it. Basically what you want to do is you want to unplug one of the dongles and repair that controller. Once that controller is paired, plug in the second dongle and repeat the process. Basically pairing the controllers one at a time instead of clicking pair another controller. I'm not sure why, but this seems to have fixed my issue. Now for this next part, do yourself a favor and disable hand tracking within virtual desktop. How you do that is you fire up virtual desktop on your headset, head over into the input tab and disable hand tracking to the left. You need to do this or else the headset will constantly see your hands as controllers and it will not switch over to the index controllers. Okay, so let's hop into virtual desktop and realistically we should be able to see every controller now show up. So let's power everything on. I'm going to power on the index controllers. One, two, okay. They should also connect. Now let's launch Steam VR inside of Virtual Desktop. And you can see that the index controllers are kind of all over the place. Uh, they are showing up, as you can see, right here. We've got one, there we go. Now there's two of them. Okay, but they are completely mismatched and Open Space Calibrator does actually not work for me in VR. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna launch the window on our PC, so Open Space Calibrator. And looking at Open Space Calibrator, what you want to do is you want to select 
left controller right here, Miramar, and then you want to also select the left knuckles controller right here. Now, before you click start calibration, what you want to do is you want to grab them both in the same hand, like so, and then we're gonna start doing number eights with them. So we're gonna click start calibration, and we're gonna calibrate them like so. Continue calibrating. And now going into the menu, you should see that we're now completely calibrated. We're in the same place as our touch controllers. So now that we're all calibrated, we've got one more thing to do to switch over from the touch controllers to our index controllers. So now what you want to do is you actually just completely want to exit out of Steam VR. So we close it just like so. From here on out, it's actually pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to make sure that your touch controllers have disappeared from your quest and then launch Steam VR. Because now that I have hand tracking off and it's very important to turn hand tracking off and I'm just gonna press a button here to make the controller turn on, it should appear within the game right in front of me. We've got one and we've got two. Check this out, ha <laughs> ha. Let's try hop straight into Beat Saber with our index controllers right here wirelessly on our Oculus Quest. Okay, I must say, that is very, very, very good. And to be completely honest with you, the tracking here is doing absolutely fantastic. So, why don't we hop into a game that actually utilizes the touch controllers so that you guys can see their true power, full finger tracking in VR. Yeah, full finger tracking, wireless on the Oculus Quest, let's go. So here we are, wirelessly, on the Oculus Quest, again, using 120 hertz on virtual desktop with index controllers. Look at that. Look at this. Everything's working, rotation's working, controls are all working. There's nothing missing at all right now from these controllers. We can grab stuff just like we normally would be because Steam VR is recognizing these just as standard index controllers. All they are is they are connected with the Oculus Quest 2. Completely wirelessly, everything is working just as it should be. Now, I know for a fact that ever since I started using these, I just will not be going back because of how much I love these things and they're just extremely comfortable in the hand and I know that these things have had their fair share of quality control issues. But the thing is, when they work, they work incredibly, incredibly well and they work pretty much 90% of the time. <laughs> I mean, come on, who, oh, who doesn't want, oh, hello. <laughs> Full finger tracking on the Oculus Quest wirelessly. I keep saying that because just hearing that in my head, working completely fine, I can turn around full 360, I can put them behind myself just like this. They don't lose tracking because they are not inside out tracked with the Quest. This is great. You can turn around completely wireless, no wire. Well, there you go. Can you use the index, oh, glasses. Well, there you go. Can you use the index controllers with the Oculus Quest 2 completely wirelessly? Absolutely. Does it work really damn well? Absolutely. Does it track better than these? Yes, because it's not inside out tracked, it's outside in tracked, meaning you don't lose tracking, for example, when you put your hand behind yourself. And overall, the tracking is just much better on these, I have found, than it is on these. I see zero negatives to doing this, except for the price, of course. But if you guys are one of those people that have bought the Quest not because it was cheap, but because you wanted to use it for wireless PC VR and were thinking about upgrading your controllers to Knuckles, well, here you go. And this stays even after you shut down Steam VR, restart Steam VR, you do not need to recalibrate again, meaning this will work 
just like that after doing it once. Now, what is very important, again, and I'm going to say this once more, to turn off hand tracking inside Virtual Desktop or else you're going to have a little bit of a pain and a little bit of troubleshooting fun. But other than that, it's just as good as you'd imagine it to be. Being fully wireless in VR is something a lot of people long for. I'm one of those people, which is why I'm waiting for that new HTC standalone headset to come out, because I'm almost certain that that is going to have its own version of Virtual Desktop in some way or Virtual Desktop is going to come to it eventually, or at least I would hope so. And then we can use this exact method to connect these controllers with that new HTC standalone. Unless, who knows, the HTC standalone might just support these straight out of the box. Or who knows, maybe they'll come out with something even better. I don't know. All I know is that after using the Knuckles for the past two weeks, I can't seem to get back to touch controllers, so I am unbelievably happy to see that they do, as a matter of fact, work with the Quest 2 and work wirelessly. Because when I play PC VR, I still love to go wireless and not strangle myself with a wire. That's it, guys. That's the tutorial. It's very short, very simple. There's no magic to it. People have done it before with different headsets. I just wanted to do it with the Quest 2 and give you guys the tutorial while I was at it. A lot of you were really looking forward to this just like I was, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, you can join our Discord down below. Also, join our Reddit because I want to see you posting your spice memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick merch down below that doesn't put a huge ad on your body, and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.